general relief this morning when the police announced that they had found Sean Mars alive more than four days after his disappearance. Mars had been imprisoned in a well by the man known as the Origami Killer. The successful resolution of this case was made possible only by the bravery of Ethan Mars, who the police believed at one point to be the killer. It is no doubt due to his great courage and tenacity that he succeeded in foiling the plans of the Origami Killer. The police commissioner presented him with an official apology today. Our main headline today. It is reported that the police have identified the man thought to be the origami killer. Scott Shelby, 48, is a former police lieutenant who claimed to be a private eye hired by the families of the killer's victims. Shelby was killed during a massive police operation, but further details have not yet been released to the public. Let's just say a friend of a friend let me jump in line. If we like it, it's ours. Hey, Dad! I think I found my room! Well, what do you think? It's perfect, Ethan. We'll be able to forget what happened. We'll lead a normal life. And one day, it'll all just seem like a bad dream. We've earned the right to be happy now, Ethan. All three of us. Today is on the cover of Today's World magazine this week and has been hailed by the whole nation as a new hero for our times. Astonishingly, he almost single-handedly ended the sinister series of killings by the man known as the Origami Killer and saved the life of young Sean Mars. His determination, courage, and intelligence have won our admiration. Norman Jaden. Good evening.
killed my son, Scott. Were you thinking about that when you held me in your arms? I don't know why you did all this. Nothing can justify it anyway. I feel nothing but contempt for you. Nothing but contempt. was general relief this morning when the police announced that they had found Sean Mars alive more than four days after his disappearance. Mars was found wandering in the Old Docks neighborhood, exhausted and disoriented. It is believed that he managed to escape from the origami killer who had kidnapped him. The investigation is currently on hold while child care specialists wait to interview the boy in hopes that he can provide some new information on the origami killer. Police are still at a loss as to the identity of the so-called origami killer, who currently remains at large. We're just getting word that the investigation into the origami killer has had a tragic outcome. Ethan Mars, father of the kidnapped boy and suspected of being the origami killer, has been killed in a police operation. Circumstances surrounding this tragedy have not yet been made public, but it is understood that Captain Leighton Perry and Lieutenant Carter Blake have both been suspended, pending a full police investigation. Come on, Sean. We've got to go now. I'm here for you. If you want to talk to someone about it, you know I'm here. Uh, right, I'll, uh, I'll try again later on. Are you sure you've thought this through, Norman? You've got a promising career ahead of you. It's a pity that... With all due respect, sir, I'm done thinking. I need to lead something like a normal life. I've just got a bit too close to everything recently. I need to step back. At least for a while. Will you be coming back to the FBI? I don't know. I'm making no promises.
You can keep your Ari if you like. This one's going offline. There's a new model due next month. I... I think you better take it back. It's just a little too compelling, Anna. Well, it won't help me where I'm going. The real world. Whatever you want. I hope you find what you're looking for, Norman. I hope so, too. None of the families of the victims ever hired you, did they, Scott? I called every last one of them. All you did was collect the evidence you've left behind. Wipe out your past. And feed on the misery of the parents whose children you've killed. I swore on my son's grave that I would kill the man who murdered him. I'm gonna keep my word. There was general relief this morning when the police announced that they had found Sean Mars alive more than four days after his disappearance. Mars was found wandering in the old docks neighborhood, exhausted and disoriented. It is believed that he managed to escape from the origami killer who had kidnapped him. The investigation is currently on hold while child care specialists wait to interview the boy in hopes that he can provide some new information on the origami killer. Police are still at a loss as to the identity of the so-called origami killer who currently remains at large. We're just getting news that the investigation into the origami killer has had a tragic outcome. Ethan Mars, father of the kidnapped boy, has been shot and killed in a police operation. Circumstances surrounding this tragedy have not yet been made public. Also in related news, we learned of the death of Norman Jaden, an FBI profiler who was also present at the scene. The police have refused to make any further comments for now. Come on, Sean. You've got to go now. I really admire you for what you've done. Thank you. Uh, for John, please. We need more journalists like you, Miss Page. It's a good thing you were there to catch that bastard. Thank you. What's your name? Vincent. Excellent investigation, Miss Page. You are one brave lady. You deserve a better adversary. Somebody more. Ocean. 
He's being buried in two days in some godforsaken hole in the back end of beyond near Washington. I have to attend as a matter of protocol. I'll pass. Jane and I didn't see eye to eye on much. No problem. I understand. Hey, sir. I still have his glasses. What should I do with them? Well, we won't be needing them again. Do whatever you want with them. Origami Killer has taken a ninth victim. The body of Sean Mars was discovered this morning on wasteland north of the city. The officer in charge of the investigation, Captain Leighton Perry, has resigned this morning. Police are still at a loss as to the identity of the so-called Origami Killer, who currently remains at large. Journalist Madison Page was laid to rest in Charity Cross Cemetery today. Her heroic death while investigating the disappearance of Sean Mars has made a lasting impression on the whole country. Colleagues from the press are united in paying tribute to this courageous journalist who sacrificed her life in the search for truth. I'm Brittany Sanders for ICN. Okay, Brittany, it's a wrap. Great, let's get out of here. All this hokey clap caps made me hungry. What are you gonna do now? I don't know. Resign? Try to forget? I don't know. Is Tripto part of your plan to forget? It's the most effective way I've found. Except it's not a solution. For the moment, I'm not looking for solutions. I just wanna forget. I'm afraid things may have affected you more than you think, Mom. Why do you say that? I'm okay. I'm getting through this. Let's just take it easy. See what happens when it's all over.
origami killer has taken a ninth victim. The body of Sean Mars was discovered this morning on wasteland north of the city. The officer in charge of the investigation, Captain Leighton Perry, has resigned this morning. Our main headline today, it is reported that the police have identified the man thought to be the origami killer. Scott Shelby, 48, is a former police lieutenant who claimed to be a private eye hired by the families of the killer's victims. Despite a citywide manhunt, Shelby has not yet been apprehended. Police are now mounting a nationwide operation in an effort to arrest him. We'll go away from here, Ethan. Somewhere where it never rains. We'll start a new life. You'll get a job as an architect, and I'll work for the local newspaper. And we'll rebuild our life. And we'll finally forget. How can I forget that my two sons died because of me. I loved them more than anything in the world. But I couldn't protect them. I want you to give me a child. A little boy with your eyes. And we'll watch him grow up together and we'll be happy. Get through this, Ethan. Life has to go on. I'll be there to help you. We'll get through this nightmare together. I love you, Ethan. Just give me a few more minutes, Madison. I'll catch up. wait for you in the car. There was general relief this morning when the police announced that they had found Sean Mars alive more than four days after his disappearance. Mars had been imprisoned in a well by the man known as the Origami Killer. The successful resolution of this case was made possible only by the bravery of Ethan Mars, who the police believed at one point to be the killer. It is no doubt due to his great courage and tenacity that he succeeded in foiling the plans of the Origami Killer. The police commissioner presented him with an official apology today. Our main headline today. It is reported that the police have identified the man thought to be the origami killer. Scott Shelby, 48, is a former police lieutenant who claimed to be a private eye hired by the families of the killer's victims. Despite a citywide manhunt, Shelby has not yet been apprehended. Police are now mounting a nationwide operation in an effort to arrest him.
Unfortunately, the investigation has cost the life of Norman Jaden, the FBI profiler working on the case. Jaden was killed while trying to arrest the origami killer in circumstances that remain unclear. A full police investigation is pending. Is this where we're going to live now? Only if you really, really want to. Or we can keep on looking until we find something you like. It doesn't matter where we live, as long as we're together. I will never let anyone or anything separate us again. We're stuck with each other, kiddo. Like glue. Can I trust what my room is? Sure thing, champ. All right, then I think we can stay here. Journalist Madison Page was laid to rest in Charity Cross Cemetery today. Her heroic death while investigating the disappearance of Sean Mars has made a lasting impression on the whole country. Colleagues from the press are united in paying tribute to this courageous journalist who sacrificed her life in the search for truth. I'm Brittany Sanders for ICN. Okay, Brittany. It's a wrap. Great. Let's get out of here. All this hokey clap cups made me hungry. Origami Killer has taken a ninth victim. The body of Sean Mars was discovered this morning on wasteland north of the city. The officer in charge of the investigation, Captain Leighton Perry, has resigned this morning. Our main headline today. It is reported that the police have identified the man thought to be the origami killer. Scott Shelby, 48, is a former police lieutenant who claimed to be a private eye hired by the families of the killer's victims. Despite a citywide manhunt, Shelby has not yet been apprehended. Police are now mounting a nationwide operation in an effort to arrest him.
There was general relief this morning when the police announced that they had found Sean Mars alive more than four days after his disappearance. Mars had been imprisoned in a well by the man known as the Origami Killer. And news of a happy ending tonight as police commended the courage and tenacity of Madison Page, a reporter covering the Origami Killer story. Miss Page was a critical factor in the successful resolution of this case. Our main headline today, it is reported that the police have identified the man thought to be the origami killer. Scott Shelby, 48, is a former police lieutenant who claimed to be a private eye hired by the families of the killer's victims. Shelby was killed during a massive police operation, but further details have not yet been released to the public. You're free to go. Dad! Sean has been waiting to see you for weeks. I thought you might like him to be here as soon as you got out. Ethan, I, uh... I'm sorry. I promise you'll never leave me again, Dad. I promise, son. I never will again. Our next guest is rumored to be about to receive a Pulitzer Prize for her remarkable series of investigative articles about the origami killer case. Showing incredible courage, her daring intervention led to the arrest of the country's most wanted criminal and saved the life of a little boy. This evening, I welcome a woman who might well be the true definition of a heroine for the ages, Madison Page. Good evening. Thank you for agreeing to talk with us. Now, you've been described as being both determined and tenacious, two qualities, no doubt, that were needed to see you through the dark hours of this unbelievable story. Were you afraid at any time? Thank you, Miss Page. I really admire you for what you've done. Thank you. Uh, for John, please. We need more journalists like you, Miss Page. It's a good thing you were there to catch that bastard. Thank you. What's your name? Vincent. Excellent investigation, Miss Page. You are one brave lady. You deserve a better adversary. Somebody more ferocious. Are you sure you've thought this through, Norman? You've got a promising career ahead of you. It's a pity that... With all due respect, sir, I'm done thinking. I need to lead something like a normal life. I've just got a bit too close to everything recently. I need to step back. At least for a while. Will you be coming back to the FBI? I don't know. I'm making no promises. You can keep your Ari if you like. This one's going offline. There's a new model due next month. I... I 
I think you better take it back. It's just a little too compelling, Anna. Well, it won't help me where I'm going. The real world. Whatever you want. I hope you find what you're looking for, Norman. I hope so, too. killed my son, Scott. Were you thinking about that when you held me in your arms? I don't know why you did all this. Nothing can justify it anyway. I feel nothing but contempt for you. Nothing but contempt. I want to see them again. I'm a father too. 